Top 5 Little Known Facts About the Freemasons Freemasonry refers to the teaching and practices of the secret fraternal order of free and accepted Masons. They are in fact the world's largest secret society with an estimated worldwide membership that ranges from about 2 million to more than 6 million. Their teachings and practices were spread by the advance of the British Empire and they remain most popular in the British Isles as well as other countries originally within the Empire. The fraternal organization originated from the stonemasons and cathedral builders of the Middle Ages. With the rapid decline of cathedral building, few lodges developed modern symbolic or speculative Freemasonry, which finally, in the 17th and 18th century, they adopted through the rites and practices of ancient religious order and brotherhood. By 1717, the first Grand Lodge, an association of lodges, were founded in England. Due to the fact that this society is not open to everyone, there have been a number of conspiracy theories and myths surrounding them. Which is why today, we bring you the top 5 little known facts about Freemasons. But before we go any further, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to get more content from us. Without too much delay, let's get right into it. 5. Freemasonry isn't a religion Unlike the popular opinion of many, Freemasons are not, in any way, religious. In 1875, a report was released by the Society, which concluded that Freemasonry was not a religion. It did not require a religious belief, they built their principles on liberty of conscience and human solidarity. By doing this, they struck out religion. Also. According to the UCLA history professor Margaret Jacob, she confirmed by saying, You think of religion as ritual, there is also this ritual element, but there are no priests, there are no ministers, and there are no rabbis. There is no system of clergy of any sort, everybody is their own thinker. Freemasonry is not a Christian institution, although they are very commonly mistaken as one. It does contain many of the elements of religion. Its teachings include morality, charity, and obedience to the law of the land. This has led the Catholic Church to take a stand against the society. In 1738, the Catholic Church condemned Freemasonry and even went as far as the issuing of about 20 decrees directly or indirectly against the fraternity. 4. Atheists are not allowed into the society. Even though Freemasonry is not about religion, atheists and agnostics are not allowed in. In most tradition, the application to be accepted in as a Freemason requires you to be an adult male and all applicants must also believe in the existence of a supreme being and immorality of the soul. According to Brent Morris, a Masonic historian, editor of the Scottish Rite Journal, and a 33rd degree Freemason, he said, This is an organization of believers. When it started on a formal basis in 1717, many historians believed that it was trying to bridge the gap between the religious civil war that had been going on in England at the time. No, atheists cannot join. The reason being, for someone to join, they must have a belief in a supreme being because we take certain obligations to be good men to support the fraternity, and if we didn't have a belief in a supreme being, the obligation would mean nothing," said James Sullivan, the Grand Master of the Grand Lodge in New York. 3. There are no secret Masonic symbols on the US dollar bill. For those of you who haven't seen the symbol of the Freemasons, it is drawn mainly from the tools of the stonemasons. The square and compass, the level and the plumb rule, the trowel, the rough, smooth ashlars, among others, taking the shape of a pyramid. At the back of the dollar bill features an incomplete pyramid with an eye on top of it, which has led many people, including some Freemasons, 
to believe it was a Masonic symbol. Well, it isn't. UCLA history professor Margaret Jacob says, These symbols have been in use by a lot of different groups, which includes the Masons throughout history. I'm sure there are a lot of Freemasons who want to believe this because it makes the Lodge seem important. I mean, if you have a symbol on the dollar bill, that's a big deal, she added. Masonic historian Brent Morris further hammered on this point, saying, There are two types of people who want to promote the idea that the symbols on the dollar bill are Masonic symbols. The pro-Masons and the anti-Masons. The Eye of God is a common icon for illustrating God looking over the affairs of man. It is an icon that appears in cultures across the centuries. The uncompleted pyramid, which has also been spotted to appear on a 50-pound colonial note, represents that our country was not yet completed and was still continuing to grow. 2. They are not linked to the Illuminati. Freemasonry began before the formation of the Illuminati, but there have been some connections drawn between the two societies, none of which are true. Historically referred to as the Bavarian Illuminati, they are an enlightened era secret society founded on May 1, 1776, in Bavaria, Germany. The society's goal was to oppose superstition, obscurantism, religious influence over public life, and abuse of state power. Claims suggest that the Illuminati are connected to other similar secret societies. Through these links, they conspire to control world affairs by masterminding events and planting agents in governments and organizations in order to gain political power and influence to establish a new world order. Many conspiracy theorists have claimed that a large number of important personnel were members of the Illuminati. The various presidents of the United States are the common subjects of this claim. Other theories suggest that historical events have been orchestrated by the Illuminati, from the French Revolution, the Battle of Waterloo, and the assassination of former US President John F. Kennedy. The fact of the matter remains that the Freemasons and Illuminatis are not linked in any way, but they are two separate individual societies with very different principles. 1. Charles Darwin was a Freemason. History has shown that quite a number of powerful individuals were Freemasons. Two of America's earliest presidents, George Washington and James Monroe, as well as Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Paul Revere, were all Freemasons. Another important individual who was also a Freemason is Charles Darwin. Darwin, who was born on February 12, 1809, was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist popularly known for his contribution to science of evolution. His propositions that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a foundational concept of science. Recognized as one of the most influential figures in human history, Darwin introduced a scientific theory that the branching pattern of evolution resulted from the process that he called natural selection in which the struggle for existence has a similar effect in the artificial selection involved in selective breeding. Apart from his unforgettable contributions, Darwin was also a Freemason introduced into the society by his grandfather. He learned Freemasonry from him and went on to teach his sons as well. There you have it, people. The top five little-known facts about Freemasons. Which of these facts do you find most interesting? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below and be sure to hit the like button. Until next time, stay safe, take care.